Hello, my name is Linda Melvin, and we've met before on other sessions, and on those sessions we used the Delusions ink sprays, and we used the Dr. P.H. Martin's Radiance, which are very, all of these are transparent. Today we're going to learn how to work with the Hydrant colors. The Hydra's colors are a little thicker, they work a little bit different, but they still work great because of the fact that you use water. So we're going to start out by pour, making this nice and wet. And this morning I'm using 140 pound hot press paper. Hot press is going to work a lot more different than the, the uh, other because the other was rough and it had texture to it and it would catch things in different places. This is just going to be free floating. And it's going to dry much faster because 140 pound dries much faster than the 300 pound. So we're going to start out with the, um, the dilutions and we're going to spray just a little. We're going to work with different colors today. Today, instead of having blues and greens, we're going to work with oranges and reds. And we start light and we get darker. And look at how they move. On this, they move entirely different. You can see it's like they have motion and they they just work constantly but if you want them to work more you can get these tiny misters which are nice or you can use the heavier and they will mist go more so then we're going to come in these are nice and thin and then we're going to come in and we're going to start with the hydras the radiance, no, not the, the hydrants, the radiance. And I'm going to just come in and let start laying some colors in. And these would have to be colors, of course, that are darker than what you have put down or they wouldn't show up at all. And some of these will just blend and others will stay put. And this is a great one. Oh, I always love this one, persimmon. And just because I put them in one way does not mean they're going to stay that way at all. And I don't have any real thought on how, what I want to do with this. I just kind of watch it and let it move. Sometimes it moves to the out. Sometimes it moves to the in. Sometimes it moves up or down. You just never know exactly what you're going to get. So right now you'll notice that this is all very wet and everything is moving. Now we're going to come in with the hydras. They have to be really wet when you come in with the hydras or they won't move at all. So I'm just going to give it a little spritzer here. Can you see how it moves? Let's get a little darker color, which will give us a little better. Put one step up in color. And today I'm kind of working in a flow that comes out this way. To, from the bottom to the top. I could have just come in in the center, couldn't I? And I can just come now and accent where I really like for them to be. Now you'll notice with these, you always have to shake them, but you'll notice that they're heavier. And you can really tell that with the red. It moves, but not quite as much as the other one did. So I come back in and I wet it more. And then I'm going to come in with other colors. I'll come in with some yellow, orange. Put it in just this spot and you'll see how it's going to work. It works right with it. Now, can I change the way I want it to go? You bet I can. You can guide this with a couple of different things. You can guide it the way I am with an eyedropper. You can guide it with uh, blowing with a straw, which I, I will not subject you to that this morning. And you can guide it also with tweezers or a paintbrush. Now, I like the way this is coming out, but I feel like I want to bring some more up this way. So I'm coming in with a different color to make it come together. Now, see how that lighter color, because this is one that moves better, 
This is one of the radiant colors. It's going in between those red ones, which I really like. But I want to do something a little bit more in the center here. Make it just a little bit stronger. Right next to that, I'm going to come in with the reds. Now, it seems like I'm putting a lot of paint on. And I'm going to show you something, though, even more exciting. Okay, I have put a lot of this on. I'm going to take my small spritzer. It's always good to know where it's coming from so you don't get it in the face. Because I'm just wanting certain things to move. Can you see now how they're moving? Look at how they're coming in. So on the outside though, here, I can come in with my eyedropper. I can pick that paint up. See how it's making it move? And I could come over here and add some more paint here. And it would come down. I can come up here at the top, pull some out, and put it somewhere. Or I can just take it off of the page. Now, I like this. Uh, it's going to continue to work. It, it's going to work for quite some time until it dries. Now, is it going to take all day for it to dry like it does with a 300 pound? It's not going to. It's going to dry fairly soon. I'd say like in three hours, this will be dry and we'll be ready to enhance it. We have to enhance all pieces normally. Every once in a while we get lucky and it just turns out so amazingly wonderful. We can't help ourselves, and it turns out the way we want and we leave it that way. We can come in and we can enhance with many different things, which we're going to be going over in the next sessions. I hope you enjoyed this little small session to show you how to use now the Hydras colors, which are great and you're going to love working with them. But we even have more to do. There are so many more colors and more different things we can do in this. It's just bigger than the imagination. Every day I sit down and think, what can I possibly do to change one of my paintings to make it even better than it was before? So I hope you have a great day today. Bye.